Hey everyone, back with a new series I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing through Deus Ex on realistic difficulty. And to make it kind of fun for myself and to make it sort of interesting for you guys, I'm not going to be putting any points into weapon skills. So that's going to be pistols, rifles, uh, explosives, heavy weapons, nothing like that. So I'm going to start off here by taking points out of pistols. And we're going to start off by putting them into uh, computer, electronics, and lockpicking. So basically this playthrough is just going to be about me trying to find ways around things without using weapons if possible. Um, that doesn't mean I'm never going to use weapons, but I'm going to try to avoid using weapons whenever I can. And if I have to use weapons, I'm stuck with using them untrained. So uh, I'm just going to let this cutscene here play and then we'll get into it. Alright, so we're ready to get started here. Um, I just thought it would be more interesting to do a Deus Ex playthrough that doesn't you know, involve just the standard traditional, you know, me just playing the game normally, you know, to make it more interesting. You know, I've played through the game uh, using stealth, I've played through the game using weapons, and I thought it would just be more interesting to play through the game without even upgrading any weapon skills at all. So we're going to be relying more on the exploration based skills and sort of non confrontational ways to complete our objectives. So we talk to our brother Paul here, and of course um, he gives you three options of things that you can start out with. You can pick the sniper rifle, you pick the gep gun, which is the rocket launcher, or you can pick the tranquilizer rifle. And I always recommend anyone first time or otherwise taking the gep gun, because the other two weapons that you get, the sniper and the crossbow, those can be found in this level, but the Gep Gun isn't available, I think, until like two or three levels after this. So the Gep Gun is, you know, kind of, is a little bit more rare than the other two weapons. The other two weapons, the Sniper and the Crossbow, are carried by many guards, you know, in this level and then throughout the game. So those are easy to find. Gep Gun is a little bit harder to find. So I think Gep Gun is a good starting point regardless of you know, what kind of combat style you want to do, because, you know, if you're doing a stealth playthrough, you can use the Gep Gun to open doors um, without a lockpick if they're destructible, and if you're using it, you can also use it against, um, like, bots and things, and you can also use it, you know, against, you know, humans if you're not, if you're doing, uh, a, you know, a, a straightforward playthrough with confrontation and things like that. But don't forget about Agent Harriman. You think he's being held on the ground floor. What are my orders? And for anyone that's seen my previous playthrough series, which is my uh, Thief Gold playthrough, which I totally recommend checking out, and if you're a fan of Deus Ex, you're probably a fan of Thief, um, that playthrough I didn't really 
engage in much of the story. This playthrough, I'm gonna let the cutscenes play, and I'm gonna also allow full conversations between uh, NPCs, you know, just for a change. So this is gonna be Deus Ex, like, complete, you know, with commentary, of course. And so my plan of attack here for this level, anyone that's familiar with Deus Ex knows, or if you don't know, that we have to talk to the guy in the top of the Statue of Liberty um, and get him to tell us about where the shipment of the vaccine is. And before we do that though, I'm just going to be doing some side things here because once you confront the terrorist leader, uh, certain side objectives are locked away. So we're going to do the side objectives first because that gets us skill points. Like I don't have to do them, but I want the skill points. I think you get, you know, 150 skill points for finding Gunther, who's the other uh, agent who's your you know your partner in this he uh, is locked away in the Statue of Liberty in the basement if you find him and you free him you get 150 skill points and if you find and talk to the um, I think it's Harvey Philbin or something he's another agent he's at the dock and if you talk to him I think you also get skill points but if you chose right if you chose if you choose to huh, if you choose to right away go up and talk to the the terrorist leader and you know in the, the main part of the mission, uh, those side objectives are lost. Um, as far as I know, I know that the one I know that the one at the dock is. And I'm pretty sure the one with uh, Gunther is as well, because the agents come in behind you and kill all the terrorists. So, um, you know, we're going to be doing that first. So now I want to show off the cameras here because this is going to make it easier later on. You know, it's NSF uh, 001, and then the password smash the state. And since we uh, specialized in computers, we could actually hack that since we're trained in computers, but I know the password, so I'm going to shut off the cameras and the turret, which will make this uh, easier. I'm going to uh, save up on lockpicks and multi-tools. I'm not really going to need to use any, I think, in this mission, so um, and if you play it right, you won't have to, so you definitely want to bank as many multi-tools and lockpicks as you can because there, there's doors that you can't go around them you can't break them down you have to lockpick them there's no other way around them so that's what that's what you want to save your lockpicks for is those kind of doors and there is this is the room that uh, Gunther the agent agent Gunther Herman is uh, locked in here um, and there's a couple ways around this. Um, I think Alex is uh, giving you intel on the phone there. He tells you, you, know, you can hack that panel, which you can do. And you can also do this, though. You can um, use pepper spray. Pepper spray uh, temporarily uh, disables lasers. So it's uh, kind of a little trick that I don't really know if the game tells you explicitly or not. But, you know, you can use that to get past lasers without sending them off. So. And cattle prod. Um, on an un unaware enemy, even with uh, untrained in low-tech weapons, if you use it right, it's an instant knockout. So we're going to be using it. So, like I said, it's it's going to be no weapon skills. I'm going to use weapons, particularly the pepper spray, probably in the uh, the cattle prod because they're so useful. But they're they're limited, so I'm not going to be able to just cattle prod my way through the whole level. So. Wanna, it's hard to get that guy with the cattle prod while he's sitting down. That's why I use pepper spray on him. And I'm gonna dash out of the way real quick here so I don't set off the alarm and aggro the turret there on the other uh, opposite wall. We're gonna shut off the camera here and open the door. I think the password is the same, the username password is the same as the other terminal, but I just decided to hack this one, so, because we have the, we have the trained in computers, so, accuracy mod, not really going to be useful for us, I'm going to give this pistol to, to Gunther anyway here, so, if you give him the pistol and you basically tell him to go for it, he's going to, kill all the enemies that he sees so he's going to help us out here a little bit we don't have to confront confront the enemies because he's going to kill a few of them for us not everyone but he's going to take out everybody like in his path
And right now I'm just grabbing the little pieces of loot that are throughout the level, some health packs and things like that. This level is full of uh, lockpicks and multi-tools and health packs and bio cells and things like that, so we want to grab those and we don't really need them for this level, but for later on we'll save them up. Here's an ATM, and of course if you have, uh, if you're trained in computers, which like I mentioned before that we are, you can hack ATMs for uh, cash, so we're going to do that and hack this one and you know, steal some credits. Credits aren't going to be super useful uh, to this playthrough just because most of what you can buy from various like merchants and smugglers is going to be like weapon upgrades or weapons or ammo. And we're not going to be using a lot of weapons and ammo, but there is a few opportunities where you can buy some things that are going to be useful to us. So, grenades and things like that. And there is the uh, robot there you want to avoid. Guards the entrance, kind of does like a goes in like a square pattern around the entrance to the statue. That guy's got a sniper, so that's what I was talking about earlier. You can take a sniper from Paul uh, at the dock. He offers you a sniper or the get gun or the crossbow, but hey, right there we found a sniper, so it's kind of silly to take anything but the get gun as your starting weapon, in my opinion. Unless you absolutely just are. You know, getting a playthrough where you're not using explosives or anything like that. And this is a contact who is going to give us the key to get in, but I mean, we're already in, but, um, you know, and the reason, like I said before, the reason I'm doing this is because I want those, I want those sweet, sweet skill points, so. And also there's uh, rockets, which ammo for the gep gun and rockets are kind of hard to find uh ammo for the gep gun is one of the lower dispersed ammos in the game uh, they don't really give you a whole ton of rockets and a lot of the times when you can get rockets it's situations like this where you're kind of going off the beaten path or you know the rockets are hidden somewhere so anytime you find rockets you can always grab those you've got a gep gun Take your word. Here's the key to the front entrance. Commander's not much of a soldier. He'll surrender as soon as he sees you. I need him alive because he's my main contact with the NSF. If he's dead, I don't have much of a business. Thanks. And the woman in there will actually sell you uh, ammo, I think, for uh, the pistol or the rifle, or she'll sell you ammo for some of your guns, but. Since we're going to avoid kind of using weapons weapons when we can, uh, you know, no need for that, really. I have all the ammo that I would need if I needed any, so. Avoid the robot there, because especially on realistic difficulty, um, which is what I have it set on. The robot's gonna like tear through us pretty easily, so we're gonna avoid it. And this is the way up to the top of the statue to confront the leader. And you can stealth your way through all this without confronting any enemies. As long as you're crouching, moving slow, and kind of hugging the wall, uh, none of the enemies should should spot you long enough to aggro. He says you helped him escape. Good work. Some news, JC. The NSF targeted a shipment of the plague vaccine Ambrosia. We can't locate it. See if the leader will surrender when you reach the command post. We'd like to interrogate him. Shipment and I'll order the troops to pick you up as a prisoner instead of a corpse. Ask away. We 
already won this round. Where are you taking it? We're just giving ordinary people the same chance to survive as the bureaucrats in Washington. You'll have to unload New York because the chopper can spot you at sea. I think the government made the plague on purpose to get rid of the population. Okay, and you want to grab that? That's an augmentation canister, and that lets you unlock uh, new abilities that are kind of used. Um, that bar on the top left, that green bar, that's like a, your power meter, and that's like how much juice that you have to use your augmentations, which are you know superhuman abilities like jumping, you know, higher and things like that. And um, I'm fast forwarding this because I'm just looting various things around uh, the statue and the, the grounds. Uh, it's just a lot of tedious backtracking, so I figured there's no really need to show that in real time. Um, you know, talking to that that guy was the main objective, and so all of our object objectives are basically complete. I did want to show this though. There's this little kind of room right near, like right across from the entrance to the statue, the main entrance, and there is, I believe, sniper bullets and credits in here. Yep, and that's pretty useful, um, especially if you're doing a playthrough with uh, rifles. Um, to have some sniper, because sniper ammo is almost as hard to find as get gun ammo. It's pretty, it's pretty rare, relatively, compared to pistol ammo and shotgun ammo and assault rifle ammo. So, any chance you have to grab that, you want to. And I want to show this as well. This little kind of depot here is another way, another uh, way to get the password to the security system. And there's also a uh, a multi tool here, and there's some uh, weapon upgrades as well. So. The multi tools up here. I gotta get something out of our inventory first because we're all filled up there. Don't really need the crowbar if we have the knife. Just using it to open up crates anyway, and they both do that job equally well. And I don't know why I just mess this part up but all you really have to do is just uh, jump on the hit the button then jump on the lift while it's going up and then you can just get over but for some reason I was over complicating it and trying to stack boxes and all that all kinds of stuff so I have to reset it here and then just try again so we could use that multi-tool that we just grabbed on that panel right there on that yellow box to turn off the electricity but I'm trying to save, like I said before, I'm trying to save as many lockpicks and as many multi-tools as I can. Um, if we don't have to use it, you know, if it's not advantageous to use it, I'm not going to use it. And these are pretty useful for anybody that is doing a playthrough with weapons, but since we're not really working, we're not really messing with weapons in this playthrough, um, these upgrades are pretty much useless, but I just wanted to show it because it's, you know, part of the game and, um, it's going to be useful for pretty much everybody else who's playing the game. So I wanted to show uh, grabbing the laser upgrade and grabbing the clip upgrade as well. So easy enough to get back. You just jump on the small one, then jump on the bigger ones, and you're you're back. speed this up as well just more backtracking and more exploring the grounds for stuff I think we missed a multi-tool yep and there it is and that I think for the most part is pretty much all the major stuff so now we're finished with the uh, the statue going on, so now we're going to explore Natco, which is our headquarters throughout the game where we get our missions and where we uh, talk to our comrades and find some secrets. There's a multi tool right there. First passcode is 0451, like every uh, looking glass, iron storm type game.
There's a EMP grenade in here, which are those are very useful because there's many uh, robots throughout the game. Some of them can be disabled with control panels or computers, but mo many of them can't. You either have to outright destroy them or disable them with EMP grenades. And there's our brother Paul. We think they've taken it back to the city. I didn't know Unatco handled the Ambrosia distribution. Manderly will brief us shortly. Unatco makes sure the limited supply of vaccine gets to government agencies and key industries. It's good to finally see some action. Just keep a level head. You're doing well so far. Now get inside. I'll meet you in Manderly's office, level two. I got kind of thrown off by the change in camera angle. I went out, in and out, back in and out of the Unatco headquarters here. Scan our eyeballs, say hi to the man at the door. That room has an accuracy mod, which is not worth it for us. But this room has one lockpick and one multi-tool, and since it is... Um, only one lockpick to open the door if you're trained in lockpick. This is gonna net us, you know, one plus multi tool. So we'll replace the lockpick and gain a multi tool in return, so that's worth it. Meeting room here, and there's various darts in there in the, in the meeting room cabinet. There's like some tranquilizer darts and flare darts, but not useful to us. Forgive my interruption. I just wanted to say that I look forward to working with you, Agent Navarra. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be briefed by Mr. Manderley. I do not expect you to perform as well as Agent Herman, but the mission will require us to do more than frighten the NSF with our baggy coats that make us look bigger than we really are. I am prepared to perform my duties. He will not be the equivalent of his brother. I have seen that he knows the procedure of a good offense. Let us hope you are right. Nobody's gonna mine real quick because we hacked the break room ATM for some extra credits. The machine would not make a mistake. So you think the staff has some kind of plot? There's our office. I couldn't remember if there's anything in that cardboard box. There usually isn't anything in those. I tried to. I was gonna log on here, and then I just decided, eh, why bother? There's not really anything other than some lore and flavor text, which I'm not really gonna be reading too much in this playthrough. I'm gonna let the cutscenes and conversations play, but any of the reading and stuff like that is, I think, a little bit too tedious for a video. to the secretary and see our boss. A refreshing chain. So the NSF took a shipment of the Ambrosia vaccine. Yes, sir. And that key we picked up on the desk, the secretary opens up these kind of closet doors. Um, there's not much to find here now. Uh, there's a pepper spray contain uh, container, but um, when we come back to Unatco uh, headquarters, at, you know, after the next mission, there'll be uh, new stuff in the closets. And each time you come back here, there's new stuff um, to find. So that's useful for repeatedly searching, you know, through your playthrough. This is the uh, medical wing here. We're gonna install the uh, augmentation canister we got at the top of the statue and then heal up. Um, and for this playthrough, since we're not really gonna be focusing on melee at all, um, I picked the uh, upgrade that lets you uh, lift heavy objects. 
So it's useful for exploration, kind of base gameplay, uh, moving uh, heavy objects around so you can, uh, you know, make pathways to climb and things like that. there on the bookshelf same thing with the medical uh, uh, department here is you know that closet's going to be able to be opened every time we come back and sometimes it has goodies like it had a med pack for us so the uh, keypad uh, coming up here the uh, combination is 2001 as you'll see me type in here here. Uh, Sam gives you something after every mission when you come back here and uh, he favors uh, non-lethal uh, playthroughs. You know, he is very... Anyway, uh, so yeah, Sam favors you to um, take out uh, enemies non-lethally and he will withhold rewards or give you extra rewards if you play non a non-lethal style. So, kind of an interesting little detail here uh, to note. And he'll offer you um, a lockpick, a multi-tool, or pistol ammo, but um, you should never take pistol ammo because pistol ammo is the easiest to find in the game, and multi-tools and lockpicks are much more rare. Um, and since I had more uh, lockpicks than multi-tools, I decided to take multi-tool. Alright, now that we've been briefed, we have to go back to the docks where we started the mission and head for uh, head, head to take a boat out back to uh, New York City. So, be just backtracking there back to the dock. And there is one thing I want to show before we get on the boat and wrap up this video. And I will uh, bring it to further attention when we get there.
That is this part right here. So you swim down, and there's a bio cell and a uh, multi tool. Right, there's the multi tool, and there's the bio cell. So didn't get those at the beginning. We could have grabbed them at the beginning, but I thought I'd grab them at the end here uh, before I finish the video. on this boat take it to New York and uh, we'll call it uh, we'll call it there uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video uh, stay tuned for part two and uh, thank you again for watching all right let's go lead the way